Good evening, it's Saturday night. It is Cocktail Masterclass night. So what are we playing with today? We're playing with bourbon. Yay, my favorite. Um, not really into whiskey, so I like bourbon. Um, so we got a uh, normal Jack Daniels going on. And we got my uh, Gentleman Jack. Uh, got a little bit of peach snaps. Um, some triple sec, orange juice, lemon juice, Angostura bitters, and my new toy agave um, syrup for some sweetness. Um, we've got all the cocked, uh, all the uh, glasses chilling, ready to go. Got my orange for garnish, my lemons, my zester. And um, now we do the most important part, which is to hand sanitize using Gorilla Gin hand sanitizer. Here we go, all over. So hopefully, guy, you you've been having a good day. We got Mark Haldane and Mommy Jackets. Yo. And what are we making tonight? We are making an Archer's Crunch. Ooh. Basin Street, which is going back to Prohibition days, and a, a different plan on Old Fashioned where we're actually going to mix it up to be an espresso martini kind of thing. Ooh. Now we Just um, showing my arty bit over there. I was doing a menu earlier. Now, Helen I was a bit sceptical about the last one. So we actually did make it last night, just to make sure. And luckily it worked out, so it was allowed on the cocktail masterclass list, which is good. And we've got co um, Carol Puckett, and we've got Nigel Lumax. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Carol. Benson, Benson is Nigel's cat, who seems to like every cardboard box, but can't make up his mind which one he wants. I think he's building a property empire. Um, so it's been sunny today. It's been a really nice day, which is fantastic. The problem is wet now, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrible. Well, it's sunny, it's sunny a little bit. So I'm gonna, it's been raining, though. Yeah, so I'm going to brighten up everyone's time for 20-odd minutes. Yeah, it's a real black sky. Look at yeah. that sky out there. That looks a black sky. Oops. I've, look, that looks a dark sky, doesn't it? Dark sky in the Basingstoke vicinity. Yes. So, um, we've got Simon Ricketts. Hi, Simon. Hi, the Fish Ricketts crew. What time do you make it? I make it about 28 minutes. Oh, we've got Denise. Hi, Denise. We've got Carol next door. We've got Lakins from Lakin Lodge. Oh, we're going to get a photo from Sky later. Are we? Is it nice in Sky? Is it nice in Somerset, Carol? Is it nice in the US, Denise? We've got people from all over. Heidi, hi, Anne. Well, we know what it'd be like where Anne lives. Probably quite similar to here. And Mark Calderon will be... Anyone in Basingstoke will have that same yucky yeah. sky. Right, 7.29. I'll start limbering up, ready to go. Yeah. Oh, sunny and gorgeous in North Carolina. Oh. Anyway, shall we make a yes. start? Well, tonight at the Masterclass, we are, as I said, we're playing with bourbon, which emanates all the way from the US. And just showing that bourbon doesn't actually always have to be mixed with Coke. So the first one I'm going to do is what is called an Archer's Crunch. Um, I picked it mainly because um, Helen and I are archers and it, you know, it just really appealed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be using Archer's. Stranger there. <laughs> Thank you. Bourbon and then some orange juice. So, firstly, um, we're going to put a single shot of archers. Ooh. 
and the ice is important. So that's our arches which has gone in. The next, I get my bourbon. So it's just a single shot of that as well. Yeah. So that's gone in. And then, really simple, get some orange juice. Shaken, not stirred. Topped up. Give it a bit of a stir. Bit of garnish to get the old orange out. So we kind of cut the orange. Let's move that there so you can see what I'm doing. I'll be hopeless on QVC, mainly because I couldn't talk about the product for half an hour to an hour and demonstrate. This is an orange. Get those. Get the um, pips out. Let's just perch it on the side. Oh, that looks nice. Perch that on the side. And a little bow and arrow for. Uh... And because um, I'm feeling patriotic today. Sorry, any, I, I don't mean to upset anyone. And here we have the Archer's Crunch. Gordon says Jack is not bourbon. Bourbon is from Kentucky and Jack is from Tennessee. Bourbon style cocktails. Look, last time I, I did this, um, there was a whole argument about whiskey and bourbon. So, um... You can't yeah. win. And Denise, yes, Archer's is a, just a peach schnapps. And now I'm going to move on to Basin Street, uh, which is a really simple classic. It's a prohibition era cocktail and is really supposed to be really um, refreshing. Perfect for humid summer nights. Mm. Mm. So, what do we need? A Boston shaker. Um, and then we put in cracked ice. Ooh. Oh, it's cold. You could use a spoon. I have washed my hands. I need sanitise. I did sanitise. So that goes in. Oh, then we um, have four ounces of Jack Daniels. Um, where's my? Oh, oh, let's do this because it's the end of the bottle. Ooh. Bottle gone. And then we put um, a measure of. Uh, arches in. Arches into that as no. well. No. I was going to say the arches was in the arches, not, You're not right. the. A two a <laughs> it's a good job I'm here. It's a good job I'm here. A double. If I wasn't, you wouldn't see anything, but. Two it's... ounces of triple sec. Which is like an orangey thing, isn't it? Yeah. And then um, I put um, two ounces of lemon juice. All the way from the uh, valleys of MS in Sicily. <coughs> Just to give it that kind of citrusy taste. So, so you've got triple sec, Jack Daniels, lemon juice, and some I own some cracked ice. Cracked ice. And what we do firstly is we we'll empty out the ice out of these glasses. Put the cocktail shaker together and give it a good shaker. I always worry when you do that, that it will all leak and well. And you can tell when you're just about ready because the, your cocktail shaker will get cold. Things you don't want it to get too cold. 
Otherwise, you burn your hands. That came off really easy. That was easy. That was easy. And then we have our cocktail glasses, which have been chilling as we had. We then get our strainer. This is a Basin Street. Yes. Hmm, get good at it. Make me even. You to make it. Huh. Just get a little bit of lemon. And on the side. I'm going to do is a bit of my orange. It's going to run it down the rim. Oh, you get all the orange oil and yeah. stuff. Not allowed to do burning of the rind. So that is the Basin Street. Oh, lovely! That sounds really nice. And that's quite nice because you get like the cracked ice in there as well. That looks a really nice colour actually. Good. Very impressive. Right. So everyone keeping up? Hopefully yes. yes. So now we're going on to my favourite. I love espresso martinis. So we're now going to make one in a slightly different way. So I'm going to take the ice into my cocktail shaker at my glasses. They're ready to go. I'm now going to put two uh, two double shots in. Ooh, uh, and that's of the gentleman yes. jack. Is that from Tennessee or is it from Kentucky or anywhere else? Some Morrison's. Oh. <laughs> Lynchburg, Tennessee. Um, we also have two double, um, two espressos out the machine. Just be like that. Um, da -da 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 -da. My sweetener, which I'm going to put a um, very small amount in. Just half, just half an ounce. So as you can see, it's all really nice and Gooey. sticky and lovely. It's what we like. And then we get an Angostura of bitters and we give four dashes. And one more for that. We then um, put the spring in. Um, anyone who watched my espresso martini... That was um, one of the early ones, the wasn't it? The very first one. To so really get good creme, put the spring in. That's the foamy bit on the top of your Correct. martini that looks like cream, but is actually froth. Very, very much so. We get the cocktail glasses ready. Move those out of the way. Wow, that's lovely. And 
then a little bit of orange zest. This is a espresso old fashioned. Correct. So a cross between a espresso, espresso martini and a old fashioned cocktail. Yeah. So you don't put the coffee beans on like you would if you were making an espresso martini. Correct. Here you just um, add a bit of zest. zest. That sounds really nice. So that was coffee, bourbon, bourbon, agave, agave syrup. Yeah. Okay. Fabulous. And that is <coughs> espresso old fashioned. And don't run away, because now we're going to do the tasty bit. So we have an Archer's Crunch, crunch a Basin Street, and an Espresso Old Fashioned. fashioned. Well, I'll try, try them in order then. Mmm! That's really unusual, but really nice. So that's got peach snaps. Bourbon, bourbon, orange juice. juice. Well, I stab myself in the eye with it. Do you need that? Yes. Mmm, nice. Good. Unusual taste, almost like a peachy sort of toffee sort of. Yeah, bourbon does sort of give you that sort of taste mm. mixed with some things. And now we have the Basin, Basin Street. Quite strong. I've had bourbon, triple sec, and lemon juice. And lemon juice. Ooh. I think it's probably because I finished up the whole bottle of Jack Daniels. Yeah, so I think it tastes like Jack Daniels with a hint of lemon. Um, nice though, quite pleasant, refreshing, Good. nice on a summer's day. And finally, the espresso old fashioned. Really nice. I never thought this would work, but it does. No. It's lovely. It's actually, it's amazing how many of these things do work. Mm. And you um, think they shouldn't. So, have fun. Make cocktails. Be safe. Be happy. See you next week. See, see you, Paul. Yeah, so, so I didn't have any Maker's Mark. Anyway, but bourbon's great. Have fun. See ya!